Okay, so you have seen how simple it is to powder into image with the blue camera of CEREC. What I have on the screen right now in this segment is some images of the upper jaw, so that's what you're seeing here. This would be our working model for tooth number 14. We've got enough teeth. It's kind of like taking a quadrant impression. We've got 15 in view, 14, 13, 12, and a little bit of 11. If I come down to this bottom here, and then I come to the lower jaw and click on that, we have our opposing images. So we've got 18, 19, 20, 21, and a little bit of 22. So we, if you've noticed, we've got second molar to about the distal half of the canine. And on our working arch, we've got second molar to the distal half of the canine. So we've got the same teeth. Now, what this segment is about is buckle bite. How does CEREC understand how to put these two models together? And this is going to be so simple, you're not going to believe uh, how easy it really is. So we have our catalogs, lower jaw, upper jaw. And the only other catalog here is says buckle with a little exclamation point which tells us, hey, I need you to show me how to put these two models together. So if we click on it, and if you keep an eye on the screen here, I'm going to go and I'm going to make sure our camera is turned on. So I'm going to click on our camera. Our camera is now live. Now, think of buckle bite as you're taking a, a great bite wing. And I know we've, we're going to review this in other segments, but um, I'm going to break it down real simple just for this one because as easy as it is, it's an important image to take. So what you want to do is look at that screen and you want to line up just like a bite wing where you're getting, you know, 50% of your image is in the maxillary and 50% is the mandible. And I'm going to take one really nice bite wing picture. And what you'll see on the right hand side of the screen is just that. We have got a really nice bite wing. Things are nice and crystal clear. You can see through. There's no overlap. And now what Sarek understands is how to put these models together. So let's just click forward for a second here. It'll take a couple seconds. There we go. Sarek is going to take a look at those models for us. And we're just going to get to the screen of how you articulate models real quickly. Like I said, we'll review this in a couple other modules, but repetition is good for us. So right now what it's doing is it's taking anything that's extra on here and it's just cleaning it up. So if we got a little powder on our camera, Sarek knows how to take care of that. If you got a lot of powder on the camera, we need to take care of it, but for the most part, this is pretty intelligent software. Lastly, it's taking a look at our buckle bite and there it gives us our models. So, all we need to do is tell CEREC how to take this working arch and connect it with the opposing arch. Now, when you grab this, you can see I've got my arrow on the top of this buckle bite section. If you grab it here in the middle, or you grab it on the bottom, and you try and drag it up, it's going to flip around. So watch what happens. See how it spins? Yeah, that's not good. That's a pain in the butt. So if you grab right at the top, just drag it, get it close, and let go of it. So I'm left clicking and now letting go. It'll put it together. Piece of cake. Now, same thing. I'm going to grab towards the bottom here. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to get it pretty close to lined up. Doesn't have to be exact. It'll find it for us. And in about 15, 20 seconds, we're going to have a nice set of articulated models. And there you go. Pretty simple. That's buckle bite.